I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? There's literally a huge rainstorm happening and I'm about to drive in it because I need to run to the grocery store really quickly and get a few things and I'm just trying to go really early in the morning before I have to start studying because I don't want to be driving when there's so many cars on the road especially in the rainstorm because you guys know it's very very dangerous to drive in a rainstorm it's even dangerous just to drive in the rain because like People are slipping and sliding on the road with their cars, so it's just dangerous. And so, I need to run to um, the grocery store, and it's raining so hard. Like, I'm not even used to this weather, and now I'm debating on if I should go to the library even later today to do some work. Like, I might have to just do work at home, which is something that I hate doing um, in the mornings, especially when it's raining, because, like, raining is, like, you know the rain gives me like cozy season makes me don't really want to do anything so i felt like if i was in an academic setting i would want to do work but i don't even know if i can get to the library and i'm scared that when i'm driving right now there's gonna be like floods and i don't know if my little baby car can handle it Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Aliet, and the next two days we're gonna be doing a lot of studying, a lot of work, because uh, as you guys know, I just got my first publication. Yeah! I got my first publication with my job. Right now I'm working on my next paper and it's honestly crunch time because I literally only have seven months to complete this like research project because I'm going to medical school and so um I have a lot of work to do and so for the next seven months I'm probably going to be doing work like every single day like eight hours a day um doing research so my TikTok videos if you follow me on TikTok they're coming back guys they're coming back this morning um I wanted to go to the library but I'm like currently in a rainstorm here <laughs> like global warming at its finest but I'm currently in a rainstorm, so I'm gonna stay home because it's dangerous to drive in a rainstorm. I'm gonna go ahead and stay home, and this morning, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little bit of literature review for my um, research. And my research is kind of inspired by TikTok, so I'm writing a paper inspired by TikTok. So basically, I'm trying to do like a study to see if young adults, like people of low literacy population, if they perform video, like TikTok style consent forms, or if they prefer written consent forms not about you guys but whenever i see like a consent form that i have to sign i don't ever read it i just sign it and then i give it to them um so i never know what's on the paper and so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to have like doctors and like researchers use like video short form like tiktok style where you're explaining it in simple terms of what the paper is saying so that people actually know what they're signing up for. This morning, I'm gonna do a little bit of literature review. My goal is to do six literature reviews because by the end of the month, I need to kind of complete my protocol and submit it to the IRB for approval, my um, job's IRB for approval. And um, so I need to know like basically the whole protocol. I need to basically design like what the study, like what we're gonna do. And so I need to see like other literature reviews and see what people did and then try to sculpt it. So that's kind of my goal for the next two days. Just reading a lot of papers. <laughs>
my one of my postdoc fellows gave me this for Christmas. It's so cute. I just finished studying for about four hours and I think right now I'm going to go ahead and have lunch and right now my food's preparing so I'm just in my room. It's in the air fryer. I'm making salmon and so I'm doing that. I think right now while I'll wait I am actually going to send an email to um, one of the medical schools. I just got my um offer from them and I'm actually going to decline them because I actually really didn't like um the school I was going to initially decline the interview like offer but I felt like it was too late um to decline the interview offer so I ended up showing up to the interview and guys it was probably one of my worst interview experiences I've ever had um it was pretty bad um not like it was I was bad I just think like how the whole day went about that injury day it just wasn't like a great day i also had a really bad headache and so they just kind of sent me an email i believe on like december 29th um um about their decision and i think i'm gonna go ahead and send an email rejecting them and i need to figure out how i'm gonna do the template so i think i'm gonna do that while i'm waiting for my food to prepare and then i'm also going to i want to start posting on tiktok again so i am going to edit a video that i want to post on tiktok tonight and then once i'm done eating i'm gonna go back to studying okay so this is what i ended up saying so i said dear school of medicine admissions committee Thank you so much for your kind offer for the class of 2027 at your School of Medicine. It has been a pleasure learning more about your school through the interview process after giving. Oh my God, I have an error. I said after giving, giving. After giving more thoughts about this opportunity, I have decided that it's in my best interest to respectfully decline. Thank you again for your time and consideration. Best, Aliyah Lobby. In your faces. Honestly, I kind of feel empowered. It's kind of a nice to be the one who rejects especially when the medical schools be rejecting you it's nice to kind of have some power and then reject them back it's like hey like thank you like thanks but no thanks okay so i'm gonna start filming the video for my job i have my little setup i have my script and honestly it takes me a long time to film videos i don't know what it is but for some reason, a lot of people think creating like short form videos is really fast. But for some reason, like it takes me like hours just to finish filming a video because I always mess up. And you guys will see in this video how I'm going to continue to mess up when I'm talking. And so it's really hard for me. But this script is really short. There's like only five lines. I'm hoping that I can do this video within, you know, 30 minutes and then edit it really quickly and then have it ready for my meeting that's later today. So, <sighs> wish me luck and also the word i have to say a word and it's like cessation like smoking cessation right and basically that word means like you know to quit to stop something to end basically and i always mess up i also say sensation sensation like I, it's a tongue twister for me so i'm really worried and i hope i pronounce it right i keep using google and i keep like doing the pronunciation and practicing cessation 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 okay I'm hoping I get it right. I'm hoping I get it right. You a young adult from California who currently uses tobacco or cannabis vapes? Contribute to research on vaping cessation. Vaping cessation. This is the final product and I just sent it to my supervisor. So I want to show you guys a glimpse. I'm from California who currently uses tobacco or cannabis vapes. Do you want to contribute to research on vaping sensation and earn some money? If so, watch this video. This is my outfit for the photo shoot. I have my paper that's published that I'm going to go ahead and do for the photo shoot. If you guys want to see the pictures, follow me on Instagram to see how they come out. But this is the outfit that I'm wearing. It's like so cute. I honestly, I was going to tag like my supervisor because I was going to write such a sentimental pose. I'll show you guys when I'm typing the sentimental pose after um, the photo shoot. But with this outfit, I can't tag them. But what I'm wearing is like my Vivian Westwood necklace. I have um, these rhinestone gloves. Look how cute they are um, from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below. And then I have this matching set outfit from Pretty Little Things and then wear my cute boots. And then I have, of course, my sunglasses. I can't believe like I'm a published Author. Rex, I'm gonna flock, I'm gonna stack. Are you with that? Won't forget that shit that's all in my past. Are you with that?
with that, like I'm with that. Hope you watching your back. Whenever I'm so let's just talk about the elephant in the room because I know you guys see it. I know you guys see the elephant in the room. Guys, I'm platinum blonde now. Like, I am loving this, like, hair color. I feel like it really fits me, and I feel like it brings out more of my features. I'm also wearing makeup, so maybe that's why. I had to change my hair. I was feeling very down. I was feeling very sad. So I took yesterday off, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do my hair. Because when you're sad, what do you do? You do your hair. And then I also changed my nails. So these are, like, my nails now, if you guys can see it. I went to Duck and Donut. I got matcha latte and I got the new, they have this new thing called like a bacon tomato sourdough. I think it's new. I've never seen it before. So I think I'm going to go to the library and not I think I am at the library and I'm going to just kind of work on some of the work that I've been doing for my job. I finished the protocol, but because I'm submitting to my jobs IRB, they have different sets of questions. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna create a new document and then copy and paste everything that I put on the IRB I was working on to that document and then send it to my PI to kind of just, um, my PI, my postdoc, so that they can add and fill, they can fill in the information and then we can finally submit it because I really wanted to submit it by the end of this month. We're on a time crunch. Like I'm going to medical school, we're on a time crunch. I gotta get this done before I go to medical school because there's no way I'm putting in all this work and I'm not gonna get a publication out of it. Like I can't, like it has to be public. We need to do a taste test on this sourdough bread. It smells so good, it smells like pizza. It's good. I'm going to go ahead, finish eating this, and then head to the library. at the library I would say that I was pretty successful in my like study session so I like did work for about four hours and I did work for four hours without headphones like I'm just want to say like I'm so proud of myself because you know how hard it is to do work without music but I would definitely say I was really successful um the IRB um it's so long guys like guys it's super long and these nails are like way too long and i feel like i was typing one word per minute so i think what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna go home eat food because i have food at home for the first time like i can finally say i have food at home i was i've been doing really good with like not eating out i'm so proud of myself round of applause for me because i've been doing really well eating food at home so I think I'm gonna eat food at home and what I like to do is I like to take like a two-hour break like you guys see my TikTok videos like you see me so I like to take a two-hour break like to eat food to cook food just like relax before I like I start studying again so I think that's what I'm gonna do and then after that I'm going to do some more work and then read my book right now it is six o'clock p.m. And I'm actually not getting ready. Oh, actually, I am getting ready for bed, but I'm not planning on going to sleep right now because at 8 o'clock p.m., my dad and I will be practicing night driving. Remember, I told you guys. But I feel like tonight might be a late night because I want to finish some of the work that I was working on. Like, I didn't get to finish it because of these nails. You guys are holding me back. These nails are literally holding me back. But um, I want to work on that. And plus, I need to edit my video for YouTube um because i don't know if you guys noticed but my new posting schedule is friday at 7 a.m pacific time i don't know how long i'll be posting that time it might change probably like as the year goes on but right now that's gonna be like the new posting time honestly for somebody who wakes up every day like at 6 a.m 
posting that video at 7 a.m like i kind of miss my 10 a.m slot but i'm trying to stay consistent i'm trying to stay consistent so yeah um later today i'm just gonna finish working on legend legend what i'm saying my book my brain is fried like i was saying um later like when i'm done with my shower i'm just gonna finish working on um, the irb proposal i just want to finish like adding my hypothesis the specific aims for my project and like the background which is gonna be copy and pasting so i'm hoping like that will be fast and then i guess like probably tomorrow i will do a little bit more work um i'm proud of myself i don't know if you guys noticed if you follow me on tiktok follow me on tiktok hot virgo scholar but i've been staying really consistent with posting on tiktok like i'm back and it feels good to be back i feel like i'm actually posting content that i enjoy like i love posting study videos like i know a lot of people like to like post like relationship advice and like just a regular day in their life of college student whatever but for me like when i wasn't studying like it was really hard for me to want to post on tiktok because i just really like posting study content like i really like it like i like posting aspirational content like i don't like posting just like simple things like if I don't feel like I'm inspiring someone it's really hard for me to post so I'm really really happy that I'm super super busy with like work and I have to you know do work like eight hours a day because now I feel like I can really post my aspirational content but also like I'm having really fun with TikTok like I'm also posting like pre-med advice which I never thought that I would be doing that but I know that the people that follow me on TikTok and probably some of you guys like you follow me to see my journey and so it's kind of nice to be able to share like things I've learned throughout my journey with you guys like I really enjoy that so I'm like really happy to be on back on TikTok like 2023 honestly like I feel like just hanging out with you guys like I'm out of my rut like I feel like 2023 is my year um 2023 is my year just kidding honestly every year is my year but i'm saying like i really feel i'm happy i'm happy and then i also posted like on instagram and you guys know how i feel about posting on instagram like posting on instagram for me is like super super cringy like every time i post on it i get like like a lot of anxiety but what i've been practicing is that like Whenever I find myself getting anxious or like starting to care about what people think, I'm like, I turn my feelings off. And I know that sounds weird and I got it from the YouTuber Wizard Liz, but basically she said, you want to be confident, turn your feelings off. So what, basically what I interpreted as was that basically whenever I post, I'm getting anxiety, like, oh, feeling, I like say, okay, stop. Silent mind. I make sure my mind's silent. Like, I don't care. Just a silent mind. Like, I focus on one thing. I focus on the video and, like, the action of posting it. And then I call it a day. And it's been helping me. So if you're ever feeling anxious or you want to be confident, instead of, you'll find yourself, like, your brain will be focusing on different things. Like, oh, my God, what if this person judged me? What if I wear this? Blah, blah. But instead of worrying about that, worry about the task. Okay, I need to drive, get in my car, get to school. I need to walk into this class. It'll really, really help you, like, build that confidence. and head out to bed i just wanted to say thank you so much for studying with me the past couple of days and i'll see you guys next week bye